In this video, we'll be seeing if there is a y that solves this differential equation. So we're going to check if y equals x to the fourth cosine 5 ln of x is a solution. So in order to do this, you want to take the derivatives first. So this one involves using the product rule and the chain rule. So break this up into two functions, x to the fourth and cosine 5 ln of x. So the, for the power rule, take the derivative of, co of x to the fourth first, which is 4x cubed times a cosine, plus leave x to the fourth alone and take the derivative of cosine 5 ln of x. For that, the derivative of cosine is negative sine, leave 5 ln of x alone and take the derivative of 5 ln of x, which is 5 over x. Simplify it, and this is your derivative. For the second derivative, I have to do it again. So let's first focus on 4x cubed cosine 5 ln of x. For that, we're taking the derivative of 4x cubed to get 12x squared, leave cosine alone, and then plus leave 4x cubed alone and take the derivative of cosine 5 ln of x, which we could just copy it from the y prime, the negative sine 5 ln of x times 5 over x. Next we go on to 5x cubed sine 5 ln x. Take the derivative of 5x cubed to get 15x squared. Leave sine alone. And then we're going to leave 5x cubed alone and then take the derivative of sine 5 ln of x. The derivative of sine is cosine. We leave 5 ln of x alone. And then we take the derivative of 5 ln of x to get 5 over x. Simplify and then get this as your second derivative. At this point, we have y, we have y prime, we have y double prime. So all that's left to do is just to plug it in. So notice here, I put brackets and parentheses for the y double prime, y prime, and y. So this leaves us to just simplify. So notice first the x squared multiplies the negative 13x squared cosine and the negative 35x squared sine. Distribute it. You get negative 13x to the fourth cosine minus 35x to the fourth sine. Next, we go to negative 7x. We're going to multiply that by 4x cubed cosine and negative 5x cubed sine. Negative 7x times 4x cubed will give us negative 28x to the fourth. And negative 7x times negative 5x cubed will give us positive 35x to the fourth. And then we have our 41x to the fourth cosine 5 ln of x. Okay, now I'm going to copy that over, the last line, and I'm going to color coordinate it. Okay, because now I want the x to the fourth cosine 5 ln of x to be together. But I'm going to leave the last one, the 41x to the fourth cosine 5 ln, 5 ln of x by itself. Okay, so I'm, I'm taking an extra step to simplify. And then I'm going to put the x to the fourth sine 5 ln of x together as well in blue. So for the red, we have negative 13 and negative 28 as a coefficients. Add those together, we get negative 41, x to the fourth cosine, 5 ln of x. And in the blue, notice they're exact opposite. So if I add those together, I get 0. And then I'm left with 41x to the fourth cosine, 5 ln of x in black. And clearly, the red and the black are going to cancel. So we end up getting 0. So what does that mean? Well, that means that y is a solution to the differential equation, and that solves the problem. 